In this video, I will demonstrate a demo on how you can restore your PostgreSQL database from a backup using Stash. We are going to restore the database from the backup we have taken earlier in the previous video. We are going to deploy a new database using KubeDB and initialize it from the backup. Let's jump into the terminal. We are watching for pod resources in this section and repository resources in this section. We have we can see that we have a repository that contains four snapshot and it taken it took backup 18 minutes earlier. Now let's deploy a Postgres database. First examine the Postgres database. Here the name of the Postgres database is restored Postgres. The namespace of this database is demo and the version is 40.1. Let's have a look at this init section. Here we are mentioning that wait for initial restore is true, which tells QDB to wait for the first restore to complete before marking the database as ready to use. And the termination policy is still. Let's create the database. The database has been created. Here we can see that a pod named restored post is zero and it is in running state. Let's examine the Postgres state. We can see that the status of this restored Postgres is provisioning. That is because of the wait for initial restore true. This database will wait for the data for being restored. Until that, it will be in provisioning state. Once the data has been, once the data is restored, the status will be changed to running. Now we need to create a restore session object pointing to the app binding for this restored database. The app binding was created automatically by QTV. Let's have a look at the restore session CRD. This restore session CRD name is sample Postgres restore. Its namespace is demo and its task is Postgres restore 14.0. We are using Postgres restore 14.0 task because we have deployed a Postgres version that is 14.1. We need to use task 14.0 or greater for taking for restoring the database using stash and the repository name is this is repo that is that was created earlier and here is the app binding name we can get the app binding for from the terminal get app bindings You can see that the app binding name is restored Postgres. The app binding is created by KubeDB automatically once we have applied the Postgres database. The app binding contains the necessary information for connecting with the database. Now let's apply the restore session. If you have a look at the rules of restoring, the rules is snapshot latest. That is the latest snapshot we have taken backup will be here. 
now let's watch for restore session object and see its state. We can see that the restore session is succeeded and its duration was 10 seconds. That is, test took 10 seconds to restore the data from cloud. Now let's verify if if test has restored the data or not. First, examine the Postgres state. Here we can see that the status is ready. That is, we can we can be sure that the data was inserted here. But let's exit into the pod for examining the data more clearly. Login as a Postgres super user. We have logged in as Postgres super user. And let's verify that the, dem the demo database that was backed up earlier has been restored. We can simply list the databases. We can see that the demo database is restored here in a clean database that is created just now so that we can verify that the database has been restored successfully by stash. Let's examine the data in demo database. We are connected to this demo database here. Let's examine the data. You can see that the data was intact like before. By this, you can, by this process, you can be sure that the, the digital process was successful. And this was the process of restoring Postgres QL database using Stash.